Welcome to REDCAP training. Before continuing with today's training module, ensure you have successfully completed training for the following. The Brain Code Portal Overview Training Module and the Brain Code Subject ID Naming Convention Training Module. If these modules still need to be completed, contact a Brain Code team member. And if you have completed these modules, please continue on watching. To access the Brain Code Portal, visit www.braincode.ca. The Brain Code Portal is a single point of entry for all data capture tools. It contains other resources such as a file repository, discussion forums, and more. You will notice you can access REDCap by clicking on the Data Capture Tools tab at the top of the page. Overview of Clinical Electronic Data Capture Brain Code studies will be using web-based data capture. REDCap collects clinician-administered and patient-reported measures. Data can be captured electronically at its source or in a paper form and then transcribed into the EDC system. Direct data capture ensures the accuracy and completeness of data and issues electronic prompts when data is inconsistent or missing. Direct EDCs mean that an electronic CRF is the source document. Direct EDCs have no transcription errors and promote real-time entry of data during subject visits. Data Capture Workflow for Clinician-Administered Scales Site clinical staff use paper CRFs and transcribe them into REDCap eCRFs. The paper CRF is a source document. With this method, there is a potential for incomplete data or transcription errors. Site monitoring is involved. Data is captured on paper and transcribed into the data capture system. This method is the most common workflow and preferred method for data capture. The Data Capture Workflow for Patient Reported Outcomes The first option is to have patients enter data directly into REDCap ePROs. The electronic PRO is the source document. Direct ePROs warn and prompt participants if data is missing or if responses are inconsistent or out of range. ePROs may be administered in clinic or at home via email. The second option is for patients to use paper PROs and cite clinical staff to later transcribe them to ePROs. This method may be done when patients prefer to use paper or the selected skills when a paper CRF is preferable. For this option, the paper PRO would be the source document. Here is a potential for incomplete responses or transcription errors. Site monitoring is therefore involved. Today's training will cover how to access REDCap and how to enter data into REDCap, specifically for clinician-administered scales and patient-reported outcomes, including surveys. We will also discuss the notes and discrepancies feature within REDCap, and today's training will also include a brief demonstration. REDCap Access To access REDCap through the Brain Code portal, select the Data Captures tool tab and select the Enter button beneath the REDCap logo. REDCap has two types of roles for users, the Data Entry Role and the Data Monitor Role. Data Entry Role is responsible for adding subjects for your site, viewing and entering data into eCRFs for events, and responding to notes and discrepancies. The Data Monitor Role creates and closes notes and discrepancies and reviews data integrity. REDCap also controls access using Data Access Group. These allow users to access groups on a site basis. Access is either granted to one site or all sites. Users with the cross-site access will be required to assign new records to data access groups, also known as adding the record to their site. Entering data, a general overview. After logging into REDCap, the home page will look like this. You will see a link for My Projects on the top toolbar. Select My Projects to view the project's home page. Within Projects view, you can select the title of your study. At this point, you will see the project's homepage view. You can add a new subject or edit a pre-existing subject by choosing the Add or Edit Records button. Studies with arms and studies without arms have two different processes. Before we begin, however, let's go over what arms in REDCap are. In REDCap, an arm is a construct that allows study events to be grouped into multiple distinct sequences. In most studies, arms represent different sequences or assessments or treatments undertaken by the study participants. For instance, the experiment group will have a different study visit schedule from a control group. To add a subject to a study with arms, first select the arm which the subject belongs to from the drop-down menu. 
Next, enter the standard brain code subject ID to the text field. Last of all, confirm that the arm is correct by taking a look at the header within the visit schedule. Ensure that the arm is correct prior to data entry. To add subjects to studies without arms, you need to navigate to the Adder Edit Records page and enter a new subject ID into the text field. You will then be redirected to a visit schedule for that subject. The visit schedule is a grid which will communicate which forms have been completed. A gray bubble will indicate the data has not yet been entered for a form. Click on the first gray bubble to enter the form. Each column will also represent a different visit for that subject. Subject Enrollment and Informed Consent Forms The first form within the visit schedule for most studies is the Subject Enrollment slash Informed Consent Form. Subjects are only confirmed to the database once the first form has been completed and saved. Marking a form status as incomplete can be done for cases when responses are not completed within a form. Select Incomplete from the drop-down menu and press Save and Exit form to save the responses that were completed. On the Visit Schedule grid, the form will be marked with a red bubble. This indicates the form has more data entry required and is not yet ready for review. To mark a form as complete, all fields must be filled out and data entry is completed. Select Complete from the drop-down menu and press Save and Exit form to save responses and mark the form as completed. On the Visit Schedule grid, you will see a green bubble to indicate that the form is complete. All data has been entered and all issues or discrepancies are resolved. Marking a form status unverified. In some studies, a verification process is used. If all fields are filled out and data entry is complete but not verified, you may mark the form as unverified. Press Save and Exit form to save the responses. The yellow bubble in the visit schedule grid will let a data monitor know that the form is ready for review and that data entry is completed. For studies with this verification procedure only, please check with your data monitor to ensure your study uses this verification procedure. Once a form is completed, you may navigate to the next form using a few options. The first option is to go back to the visit schedule grid and select the next form. You may also navigate to forms within the current event using the side toolbar. Save options also will allow you to navigate between forms. If you desire to edit data on a completed ECRF, you may click on the green bubble to edit responses. This may be done as long as the form has not been locked. Remember, all changes made within REDCap will be saved into a centralized log. Entering Data Clinician Administered Scales To enter data for the next event, select the form under the Next Visit column. Confirm you have selected the appropriate visit. You can confirm you have entered the correct form by looking at the event name, which will indicate the visit and arm you are in. Data cannot be transferred between visits for a subject ID, and therefore it is extremely important to ensure you are in the right form. Notes and discrepancies. Notes and discrepancies are a means for users to document, communicate, and manage issues about data in a clinical trial in order to facilitate verification of the accuracy and completeness of the data. Notes and discrepancies allow users to communicate within REDCap, keeping all data and notes concerning changes in a centralized location. The Notes and Discrepancies tool facilitates the cleaning of research data but it is not a replacement for notes fields. To enter a note or discrepancy, select the comment bubble next to a field for which you would like to make a note on. Select Open Query and then you may assign the query to a user if need be. All actions in the data query workflow will require a comment containing the details of the changes being made to the data. Responding to data queries. View open data queries in two places. The first option is accessible next to the field on the form where the query was originally opened. Option two, select resolve issues button from menu to access data resolution workflow. You will not be notified when a data query has been assigned to you, so you must check this dashboard regularly. Any queries assigned to you or your group will be visible on this page. Responding to data queries. Once you are within the Resolve Issues page, you may select the comment button next to a field to view the query. 
Data queries can be responded to in cases where you need to request more information or ask for details on how or why an issue is resolved. Data queries should be closed by the user who created them after confirmation the issue has been resolved. Select Close the Query and enter a closing comment to close a query. Surveys, patient reported outcomes. Data entry view for patient scales. In this example, we can see the data entry view for transcribing a PRO. This would be the patient view of that same EPRO. However, patients will see the scale as a survey within REDCap. To administer an EPRO in clinic, select Open Survey from the drop down menu at the top right hand of the data entry view page. This will open up the survey in a new tab of your browser. The next step is to log out of REDCap to maintain account security. The last step is to then hand over the computer to the participant so they may complete the survey. For patients who will complete an EPRO at home, you will first select Compose Survey Invitation from the Survey Options menu. Step 2. Send Invitation. Note, follow up with your data monitor or project manager to see how your study administers EPROs. Step 3 is to confirm the response. A green check mark will mean that the participant has fully completed their survey. An orange check mark means the participant's response is incomplete. It is important to follow up and capture the response within the window of the visit. If a participant has not completed their survey, email the participants the same survey link in an email. In a second separate email message, email the participant the access code. To access the BrainCode portal, visit www.braincode.ca. You will notice you can access REDCap by clicking on the Data Capture Tools tab at the top of the page. Select the Enter Data button beneath the REDCap logo and you will be redirected to log in with your REDCap credentials. When you log into REDCap, you'll be redirected to the REDCap homepage. Select My Projects to view a list of all studies for which you have access to. Click on your study title to redirect to the project homepage. To enter data for an existing subject or to add a new participant, click the Add or Edit Records button. For studies with arms, first select the arm for which the participant belongs to. Then enter the Brain Code Standard ID. To enter a new subject ID for studies without arms, you can forgo choosing an arm for the subject and directly enter the brain code subject ID. Press Submit. You will then be redirected to a visit schedule for that subject. The visit schedule is a grid which will communicate which forms have been completed. A gray bubble will indicate the data has not yet been entered for a form. Subject Enrollment and Informed Consent Forms. The first form within the visit schedule for most studies is the subject enrollment slash informed consent form. To mark a form as incomplete, select the incomplete option at the bottom of the form and press save and exit form. The visit schedule grid will have a red bubble to communicate that the form has not yet been completed. Marking a form complete. To do so, select the Complete option from the drop-down menu and ensure that all responses have been collected on the form. Press Save and Exit. You will be redirected to the visit schedule, which will show a green bubble to indicate the form was complete. For studies with a verification procedure, you may mark a form as unverified by selecting Unverified from the drop-down menu and clicking Save and Exit form. The yellow bubble in the visit schedule grid will let a data monitor know that the form is ready for review and that data entry is completed. Once a form is completed, you may navigate to the next form using a few options. The first option is to go back to the visit schedule grid and select the next form. The next option is to select the next form from the left hand toolbar. The last way to navigate to another form is to use the Save options by clicking Save and go to Next Form at the bottom of the form page. Enter data for the next event, select the gray bubble under the Next Visit column and enter the form. Check that you're in the right form by looking at the event name. Notes and discrepancies. 
To enter a note or discrepancy, select the comment bubble next to a field for which you would like to make a note on. Select Open Query and then you may assign the query to a user if need be. All actions in the data query workflow will require a comment containing the details of the changes being made to the data. Responding to data queries. View open data queries in two places. The first option is accessible next to the field on the form where the query was originally opened. Select a response to the data query by choosing one from the drop-down menu and adding any additional details to the comments box. Press Respond to Query. Option 2. Select Resolve Issues button from menu to access data resolution workflow. Select the comment button next to the record to view any open data queries. Choose a response from the drop-down menu and add additional details to the comments field. You will not be notified when a data query has been assigned to you, so you must check this dashboard regularly. Data queries should be closed by the user who created them after confirmation the issue has been resolved. Select Close the Query and enter a closing comment to close a query. Surveys, patient reported outcomes. To administer an EPRO in clinic, select Open Survey from the drop down menu at the top right hand of the data entry view page. This will open up the survey in a new tab of your browser. The next step is to log out of RedCap to maintain account security. The last step is to then hand over the computer to the participant so they may complete the survey. For patients who will complete an EPRO at home, you will first select Compose Survey Invitation from the Survey Options menu. Step 2. Send Invitation. Note, follow up with your data monitor or project manager to see how your study administers EPROs. In this demonstration, I will directly email the participant the survey invitation. Ensure you follow up with a study manager to see what your email protocol is. An orange check mark means the participant's response is incomplete. It is important to follow up and capture the response within the window of the visit. If a participant has not completed their survey, email the participants the same survey link in an email. In a second separate email message, email the participant the access code. A green check mark will mean that the participant has fully completed their survey. Do you have any questions? If so, you can contact a REDCap administrator by emailing redcap.admin at braincode.ca. For more braincode related questions, contact help at braincode.ca. Next steps. In order to finish today's training module, please take the quiz attached. Upon successful completion, your REDCap account will be granted. You should receive an email with a temporary link to set up credentials for your new account in the next few days. Thank you for watching today's training video.